Right, it's Monday, start of a new week. And as I mentioned in the last video, I've started to, to look at recommended workouts from my Garmin watch. It recommends every day what workout to do. Today, it is work, <laughs> this is funny. It's uh, recommended a threshold workout with a, a warm up, a 15 minute warm up at 165 watts, followed by two seven minute sessions of 245 watts. That is well above what I'm capable of. So I started doing a little bit of looking into where should that be based upon sort of my historical FTP rates, although I'm nowhere near those. And I found this on the Trainer Road website. So a tempo effort should be somewhere between 76 and 87% of FTP. Now working that backwards, if it's telling me to do 245 watts, that thinks that my FTP is somewhere in the region of 280 to 320 odd watts, which is not. I've told the Garmin ecosystem that that isn't my FTP, but it seems to just ignore whatever number you put in as your FTP. It must be going on historical data, but I don't know how it would get historical data of anywhere near that level of FTP for me. So I think it's gonna take a couple more rides and workouts for it to really work out where I am. The base rides started at 155 watts. The last one was 150. The one recommended for later this week is at 145. So it's obviously recalibrating itself, bringing it down. This shows that an endurance ride should be somewhere between 55 and 75%. If I had a 200 watt um, FTP, that would be, I'd be 110 to 150 watts for a base sort of level ride, endurance ride, and 150 to 175 watts for a tempo ride. So uh, I don't really know what to do. I, there's no way I can complete the workout that it's suggesting today. I'd just destroy myself, I think. And I'm struggling a little bit today with a bit of mental fortitude to go and do that anyway. So I have sat here for about 20 minutes reading up on this and what, it should be what level it should be at. And you know what? I'm gonna just forget it and get on the bike and do a ride. Possibly, probably with a little bit of harder efforts in there at certain points, just to sort of raise the heart rate, raise the watts, so that the watch has got something more to calculate yourself on. But yeah, I'm gonna forget all the statistics and the science and stuff and just get on and ride the bike. Well, I didn't enjoy that one. Um, I just jumped on, I picked a random route, I quite like, like going up the Epic KOM. I thought I'd just head up there I'd no, with no intention to get to the top, but I thought going up a hill might make me mentally push a bit harder. I am, um, yeah, I, I wanted to try and stick around, well, not stick to, but I had a target about 200 watts in my head to do a couple of bursts of that, just to sort of tie up with, you know, this tempo threshold thing that was expected before. I just thought I'd have a couple of harder efforts and yeah, I struggled. I struggled. Um, I actually had to stop at one point because I've been suffering a little bit with asthma, um, which I never suffered with before, but since my hospital visit seems to be a thing now, um, I had to stop for a second just to sort of recover. I felt my stomach go a bit as well, which again is a thing from the past. And uh, that went away quite quickly, got back on, but I just couldn't get the power back up. A lot of the time I was thinking it was around 150 watts mark. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll try and keep going to the 45 minutes again, because that's sort of equivalent to, to what th the watch has been giving me as workouts before, but obviously knowing that there were a couple of bursts in there at, uh, at higher levels. Um, I'm gonna wait to look at the watch and stuff and see, see what it comes up with and what it classes that as, but I really struggle with that. Towards the end, it was a stop-start thing. The whole usual thing for me is stop-starts, pedaling. Um, I don't really know what to make of it. I feel pretty naff, actually, after that, because I've had a couple of really good rides where I felt quite strong. I'm, I am still struggling with discomfort on the bike, riding regularly again, and uh, I guess the legs just aren't recovered. And you know what? I don't think I'm at a fitness level to really, really push myself, which is probably why the asthma came on as I was doing higher level efforts. I don't know, I'm gonna go and have a shower and I'll have a look at the stats and I'll talk about them later. I've really been struggling mentally in the last couple of days after that ride on Monday. Um, I, 
whilst I wasn't trying to push myself really hard, and I didn't push myself really hard, it wasn't a race, it wasn't any sprints or anything, it was really hard. And I think it's just, I don't know, mentally it's kind of bashed me a bit. This isn't, it isn't about just getting fit again. Um, I had a couple of messages. Um, I think Reed put a great comment, which I read just afterwards actually, which really helped. And I was talking to Craig Finlayson too, that I probably need a lot longer at just sort of base level riding. Because this is necessarily just about getting fit, it's about getting well as well. And I think that's what's hit me most the last couple of days is where I would normally be able to push myself and feel that it's just fitness holding me back. You know, I had to stop riding because of my chest and my lungs. I felt really crap afterwards as well. So just got to learn that the next couple of weeks is going to be ignore the watch, ignore all that stuff. Just get on the bike and ride and get some miles in my legs. Feeling a bit better about it now, I think. I think. And now I've got into that mindset of that's what I need to do. Hopefully, the, my, my brain will ease off a little bit and allow me to just do that without making me feel like rubbish. I don't know. This, there's other things going on as well. Obviously, we've got a what, nearly nine-month-old. She's gone backwards sleeping at night, so she's awake quite a lot. And she is full on at the moment. We just sort of finish work and then they arrive home and it's just, it's just full on because she's not sleeping either. It's literally until the moment we go to bed. She just wants attention. And then, <laughs> and then she doesn't sleep through the night anyway. So it's been, it's been a bit of a fun week. Um, I have managed to get on the bike again though yesterday. Lunchtime I did. I jumped on again with this mindset of just do riding. The idea was just get on, spend half an hour on the bike, just get back on the bike again, again after Monday. Uh, and I did 50 minutes, an average of 145 watts. So I quite enjoyed it. <laughs> I don't know, it's funny, isn't it? But, I mean, I, I even toyed, because of how rubbish I was feeling, I toyed with the idea that I wouldn't put a video out this week. In fact, you might not even see this because, yeah, I was feeling that rubbish, but you know the reason i do these is these videos is to just show my life i guess and what should be progress but that's that's getting nowhere but if i don't show the down points then the up points things to celebrate aren't as good are they so yeah anyway it's uh, it's actually friday now i'm off down on my way to the shop to grab some lunch and uh i'm just going to enjoy a nice friday evening of well, I was going to say not doing a lot, but <laughs> looking after the little one, wanting attention. And then uh, hopefully there's not too much going on this weekend. I'll have to consult the diary tonight. I had hoped for a little bit of a quiet weekend. Uh, but my wife got home from work uh, yesterday, Saturday today. She got home from work yesterday and said, don't forget, I'm going to go and sell some of my stuff at a market tomorrow. Can you come and give me a hand to take it all in for me? Uh, so last night we ended up taking in a load of uh, stuff from the house into where she was setting up and then this morning i got a couple of hours this morning i've edited this video up until this point thankfully i did get a bit of spare time um but i've been in helping her out and just making sure everything goes okay so it's uh, 20 to 4 now and i'm exhausted it's just a recurring theme of feeling just exhausted towards the end of the day um i don't know whether i'll get on the bike today it's more likely i think to be at some point tomorrow morning but yeah, I'd hoped for a sort of a sofa weekend with a bit of a ride, edit the video and then have a bit of a relax. But to be fair, I've quite enjoyed it. It's been good for my mental health to get out and about and go and see quite a few people that I know and have a chat and a bit of a laugh. So it has been good, just uh, <laughs> a little bit more tiring than, uh, than I had in my mind. It is Sunday, finally sorted out the hair, got rid of that mess. Uh, and I rode the bike this morning, got on and just in that mindset again of getting on and riding i thought you know what i'll go and race ride not race ride with a pace partner uh the 1.5 watts per kilogram pace partner in watopia again just sort of set my goals on sort of maybe 40 45 minutes did the hour so i was really happy with that there was a bit of climbing in there as well so i felt it's, it's a recurring theme isn't it I felt quite strong for the first part Towards the end, we hit the bottom of a, a bit of a climb up towards the epic KOM. 
uh, and I did struggle a little bit just to keep the power consistent. The old stop, start, stop, start came into it again, but uh, kind of got to the top of that and we still had a little bit of time left and I knew the next bit was a bit downhill. So kind of took that as a recovery and a, just a chance to just ease off the ride towards the end and did up to an hour. So I'm really chuffed to get that done. And actually finishing the week, finishing a lot, a lot more positive than how I was at the start of the week with that ride. I've just got to hold myself back a little bit and that is what I'll do. I will hold myself back for as long as I can <laughs> and get some just base mileage in. I don't know how interesting this is going to be for you guys to watch. Um, you know, maybe I won't do a video next week or something. I don't know because it's just going to be relatively repetitive, I guess, <clears throat> until I start doing some harder efforts. But I guess it's what I've got to do to get where I want to get to. Um, yeah, busy week very up and down mentally but as i said finishing in a really positive place heading into next week as well i'm going to continue with sort of the three rides a week with a fourth if i can fit it in at some point depending on you know life and children and all of that stuff going on i want to say as usual a huge thank you to the channel supporters going up the screen right now if it's something you're interested in the link is in the bottom at the description of uh, buymeacoffee.com forward slash target 2.5 uh, it's greatly appreciated to you guys that do support the channel, especially when it's a little bit stop-start as it's been recently. Uh, if you want to come along to T2.5 rides, we do a race on a Tuesday night, followed by a bit of a banded get-together cool-down ride. Um, that's on a Thursday night, sorry. And on a Tuesday night, we do a just a banded group ride where everyone can just either pedal half a watt a kilo, five watts per kilo, whatever it is, and the band will keep everyone together. People get onto Discord and have a have a chat. So if you're quite new to Zwift or you're a little bit nervous about big group rides, we're not a massive group. The race is sometimes between 10 and 20 people. So it's something you want to dabble your feet in, come along, it's a great supportive group. Best place to look up the info on that is on the Discord channel, again, linked in the description below. But that in, is the end of this video. If you have enjoyed it, do hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.